get a little closer up on it. I was coming down this way when I got into that accident. When I crashed that car, I was trying to go straight. Like, they're going straight. I crashed into a car that was coming this way, like that gray car. But they didn't have a red like they had now. They had the green. I had a red. That green was red, but I tried to go through it. And they was gone. So I hit one car, careened off of that one car into that building. Which was fried corner then. There were people inside of the building. There were young people inside of the building. I got out of the car. I didn't know who was in the building. I jumped out of the car, I ran. I ran up this street. Not knowing the damage that I had did. I ran up this street, I ran around this corner. 23rd Street. I'm sorry, 22nd Street. My paperwork, they said it was 23rd Street. Cause that's where I used to be. But I gave myself up right around here on 22nd Street. Put my hands in the air. And then I pretended to be concussed. They took me to the hospital. Put me in the ER. Had me handcuffed to the bed, all that. Did all kind of crazy stuff to me. While I was handcuffed to the bed. Acting like I was comatose. When I got to the prison, they asked me if I thought I was a threat to myself or others. After the officers told me that it was kids in the building that was hurt. At the time, I didn't know what kind of damage had been done. I didn't know what kind of damage I had caused. So I was a threat to myself and others. I never got word until court what had happened to the young people that was inside a fry corner when I crashed the car in. I didn't know if they ended up trying to go funeral home. I wasn't getting any letters. I had no idea. And I constantly fought. I constantly lost my control, my composure. I was in the hole. They put two door cell, three door cell in the hole. They took me straight to the infirmary as soon as I came in and I told them I wasn't sure if I was a threat to myself or others. I didn't know, I didn't know how to answer that. They put me on suicide watch, what they call the butt naked room, with brothers that's locked down, brothers that they call inmates, that they call prisoners, what they call the butt naked room, with a cellmate. That was the first fight. That was the first fight. But it wasn't the last. But rehabilitation doesn't happen from incarceration. Not when people are treated with complete disrespect, disregard. It's not conducive to, I got a car for the Congos. It's not conducive to rehabilitation. There's a lot more that I'm going to say about that, that I need to say about that. Coming soon, TBA, to be announced. Once again, keep up the good fight. Finish the race. Keep the faith. We are all remarkable. Thank God for life.